Have you ever wanted to be a cannoneer, but instead you were made to be the bilge of the crew because they don't trust you to hit your shots on the cannons? Nothing wrong with bilging though, you bilge rats. What about during hourglass fights when you think you have your enemy pinned down, but they somehow escape out of your grasp? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing some of the best tips to make you a more experienced cannoneer that your crew will trust. Also follow me on Twitch to see some of these tips in action, link in bio. Before you even think about touching one of the cannons, you need to look at the cannons you have and pick which one you think will work best for you. Unlike hole or anchor cosmetics, a cannon cosmetic greatly affects how well you are with your cannon aim. Some people like bulky cannons with a small notch at the end, and some people like little to no cosmetics so they can see where they're shooting. So it's best that before you plead to your crew that you would be the best main cannon, test out cannon cosmetics that look appealing and narrow down to the ones that you work best with. Cannon flares also affect how well your aim is because some can completely flashbang you and before the flare clears, there's a 10 pound metal ball about to cave in your skull, and there are some that are barely even noticeable. Cosmetics mean a lot, which is why some streamers won't let you change their cannon cosmetics for channel points. You figured out your best cannon combination? <laughs> Great, time to go to the seas and try out these next tips. We've all been there. Our enemy is on our broad for some perfect cannon damage, but the stupid waves keep rocking you up and down so you keep adjusting, and when you shoot the cannonball, it goes nowhere you thought it would. It's okay, buddy, this is a safe space. Next time this happens, take control of the situation and tell your helm to face the boat eastward. <laughs> Facing your boat eastward gives your boat the least amount of motion from the waves, which means you have the easiest time making sure you hit your cannons where you want them to make contact. Now you'll get the most cannon shots in before the other crew has time to think. And if they do have time to think and start shooting back at you, then this next tip will help in two ways. If you're battling against a brigantine or a sloop and are in a broadside standoff, the best thing to do would be to shoot at the cannoneers with a cannonball instead of a blunderbomb. Why you ask? Two reasons. Obviously, if you hit the cannon line, it knocks the pirate off the cannon, but in doing so, you actually put a hole in their boat as well, meaning they have one more problem to worry about even after you might have one balled them out of existence. This way, you'll actually have dealt with two of your problems in one shot, and then you'll deal more damage if they back off of the cannons because you won't stop hitting it. Once you finally have the boat pinned down and want to start putting some holes in their ship, you'll need to do it in the most efficient way possible. Normally, you'll start shooting all willy-nilly and just crossing your fingers hoping you're hitting the ship, but that's what a noob cannoneer does. Instead, what you want to do is spread your shots across a ship's hole so that you cause more holes for the enemy crew to run around and fix. If you shoot a cannon multiple times in one spot of the ship, it won't be as effective because you're repeatedly shooting a singular tier 3 hole rather than creating multiple tier 1 or 2 holes spread across the ship for them to run around and fix. If you want to take this advantage a step further, while you're putting more holes in their ship, take a chain shot and shoot it at their steering wheel. Doing this will break the wheel and render it almost completely useless. This way the enemy ship won't be able to rotate with you to apply pressure, and it also will be one more thing for them to worry about if they do manage to escape your death spiral. And if your boarder is fighting the enemy crew on their ship and the enemies are bucketing, if you're battling a sloop or brig, then it's best to shoot them right at the staircase where they throw the buckets of water out. Doing this will hit the bucketers and they might slip up and backsplash because they got bounced around under their deck. Only do this if you did the steps before this just to make sure that there's enough water to sink the enemy boat. And if you want to make your pirating life easier outside of your cannon skills and be a more knowledgeable player, then click right here.